In the next talk, we're going to look at how Gemma can be used in the Hugging Face ecosystem. And we've heard brilliantly from our previous speakers about using inference with the Gemma model and also about how to train it. In this talk, we're going to see how you can apply the full ML stack pipeline, going from inference, loading a data set, fine tuning it, and finally deploying it all through the Hugging Face ecosystem. So I'm sure many of you have heard of Hugging Face before. Could I have a quick show of hands? Who's actually used Hugging Face? Awesome. So that's about 80% of you. So for those of you who don't know, here's a brief introduction of what we're trying to do. Hugging Face's mission is to advance and democratize machine learning through open source and open science. What started off as a library for state-of-the-art machine learning models has expanded to a full ecosystem to cater for the full machining, machine learning pipeline, not just models, but data sets, training, and the Hugging Face hub. What links these four things together is the hub. The hub is the thread that links the models, the data sets, and all of the demos that the community share. What we're going to see in this talk is how you as open source developers can leverage the open source ecosystem to stand on the shoulders of giants. And what I mean by this is you can leverage all the open source artifacts released not just by Google, but also the community to expedite your work and maximize your potential. We're going to see here a brief example for each of the four stages in the machine learning pipeline. Since we only have 10 minutes, we can't dive into too much detail. So what I'll do at the end is I'll share a notebook with you that you can take home and run in your own time. So don't worry about understanding all of the code. So let's get started then and look at inference in the Transformers library. Transformers is a state-of-the-art library for machine learning models. It encompasses natural language processing models like Gemma, but also computer vision and audio models. Transformers has maintained a consistent API right from its inception in 2019 with the birth of the BERT and GPT models. A tokenizer model can be loaded from the Hugging Face Hub, and inference can be run in just a few lines of code. What's amazing about the Transformers library is that these same three lines of code can not just be used for the old models like BERT and, BERT and GPT, but also for more recent ones like Llama and Gemma. What this enables you to do as developers is swap any existing models that you might be using in your code for the latest state-of-the-art machine learning models with no code changes. Everything that worked previously is going to work now. Recently, Transformers has put an emphasis on performance as well. Through better support for GPU and TPU, and also optimizations like Flash Attention 2 and Torch Compile. What this means is the latest models like Gemma now run on the newest hardware uh, up to three to four times faster than they did previously. So Transformers now really sits in a position where it maximizes both accessibility with its three-line API, but also performance through optimizations like flash attention. This is, puts it in the perfect position for you as developers, since it's now ready for you to go and use both in an easy to use way and as fast as possible. So how does inference look in the Transformers library? Well, as I mentioned, the first thing we need to do is load the model and the tokenizer. And we do this from the Hugging Face Hub. Next, we'll pre-process our inputs through the tokenizer to get our token ID representation. We then auto-regressively generate our outputs, again, using a similar API to Keras with generate. And finally, we post-process our predictions to get our predicted text. And you can see here that it's simply three lines of code that you have to execute to perform inference. Now, I'm sure here, as a talented group of developers, you, while you think this is pretty easy to do, I'm sure you want, to, you want to do more. Inference is one thing, but can we extend beyond this and build some really cool applications through fine tuning and deployment? So that's what we're going to look into next. Now, the first stage in this process is loading a data set. And for that, we're going to, do, we're going to use the data sets library. Now, what transformers is to machine learning models, data sets is to machine learning data sets. Datasets is a library for accessing state-of-the-art machine learning models, and it has a deep integration with the Hugging Face Hub. And what this means is you can load any public dataset on the Hugging Face Hub with just one line of code, load dataset. The beauty of datasets is that it takes care of all the loading and pre-processing for you. So what we've done here is we've just specified the ID to the dataset that we want to load on the hub, and datasets takes care of the rest. Now, if you wanted to use a different dataset, you would just have to switch this data set ID for the one of your choice. Datasets is again going to do the loading and pre-processing 
you don't have to load up any specific recipe or go through these hoops of finding out where to download the data from and how to pre-process it for your model. Datasets is going to take care of that for you. Now that we've loaded our data set, we're ready to start training. And we're going to do this using the PEFT and TRL libraries. TRL, or Transfers, Transformers Reinforcement Learning, is a library for training state-of-the-art transformer models. It's designed to maximize the ease of use to you as users. Primarily, it has cross-library compatibility with models from the Transformers library and datasets from the datasets library. So now that we've looked at the simple two-line API for both libraries, the same can be extended to TRL. It's very composable in the sense that it has a separate trainer class for each of the downstream tasks you might want to train for. Suppose we took the base Gemma model and we wanted to train it in, uh, specifically for an instruction tune chatbot on your own data. This involves several processes such as supervised fine tuning, reward modeling, proximal policy optimization, or direct policy optimization. TRL provides a trainer class for each of these processes, meaning you, you can run them step by step. And finally, the biggest selling point of the TRL library is the fact that it puts low resource as a first class citizen. If you were to go and fine tune the full, semi, full 7B Gemma model, you would require 130 gigabytes of GPU memory. Now, most of us as practitioners don't have access to GPUs on that scale. So we need to do something different. This is where TRL comes in. TRL can be used to fine tune quantized models in four and eight bits, and also can be used with parameter efficient training techniques like LoRa, which we heard from from Martin. The result of putting these two together is that the 7B Gemma model can be trained in just 16 gigabytes of GPU memory. And suddenly, that becomes accessible to all of us. TRL doesn't sacrifice uh, complexity when it, uh, with, um, with these optimizations as well. So as I mentioned, we still have the simple one-line API for loading our data set. And we also have a minimal API for loading our supervised fine-tuning trainer. So it maintains consistency with the previous transformers and data sets models, uh, libraries. And so you can see here how we load our data set and also instantiate our supervised fine tuning trainer in just a few lines of code. When you're ready to start training, you can call the train method and everything else will be taken care of for you. Great. So now we've loaded a model for inference, we've loaded a data set, and we finally fine tuned our model. We're now at the stage where we can actually go and deploy it and share it with the rest of the community. To do, to do this, we're going to use the Hugging Face Hub. As we saw from Gus, the Gemma models all live on the Hugging Face Hub. If you were to train a model in the Hugging Face ecosystem, it would also get pushed to the hub so that you could share it with the community. And you get a page very similar to this. We have information about how the model was trained in the model card, both in terms of training and evaluation and also code snippets for using it in the Transformers library and other libraries like uh, Llama C++. We can also see here that we have download counter and information about the weights. Most interesting for us is this, in this last stage of development is deploying the model. We can see here in the top right, we have several options for deploying the model, both using the Inference API, AWS, and most recently Google Cloud through a Vertex AI integration. So we've seen how we can use the Hugging Face ecosystem to perform the full stack of machine learning development. And what this really emphasizes is how all of these steps can be performed in a very few lines of code. You as developers are really empowered to go and achieve anything you want using the Gemma model, be it inference, loading data sets, training, and deployment. The Hugging Face ecosystem is designed to enable you to achieve these things. Since we've had a br very brief introduction on all of these topics, I'm linking here a notebook that you can scan and take home and run in your own time. In it, we load the Gemma 2B model in a Google Colab and fine tune it directly in the Colab.